Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Brian Leonard and Kevin Dolan of wagertalk.com. We're talking an SEC East rivalry game here with the Georgia Bulldogs. That's the number one ranked in the country, Georgia Bulldogs. Minus 20 and a hook on the road here in Knoxville, 56 being the total. Kevin, coming to you first. You liking anything with the Bulldogs and Vols on Saturday? Uh, it's a tricky one, Drew, in fairness, because this matchup really all boils down to, you know, what Georgia team shows up here, in my opinion, um, kind of how motivated they are for this game. I honestly think, depending on their mood, um, they could cover this point spread, no problem. But, you know, it is a lot of points to be given Tennessee in this spot. You know, for me, the correlation um, between Georgia's average scoring margin this season at 31.9 points per game um, and their four most recent victories over the Volunteers at 29 Point eight points per game probably paint a more accurate picture of where this true line should be between these two. But, you know, at this stage of the season, uh, Georgia are pretty much coasting at this point. And while historically this has always been a big matchup between two old rivals, um, at this point of the season, I'm just not sure how much Georgia are going to care to kind of run up a big score here in Knoxville. So I think the under is the way to go on this one. You know, whether Georgia show up offensively here or not, I'm just not sure the Volunteers can hang that many points um, on this elite Bulldogs defensive unit on Saturday. You know, they're allowing just 6.6 points per game on the season so far, five points per game on the road as well. Those numbers are just absolutely ridiculous. You know, less than half of what second place Texas A&M are managing to do. So, you know, for a Tennessee team that managed no score in the whole of the second half against Florida back in week four and had just 13 minutes type of possession last week total against Kentucky, I just don't see how the Volunteers... You know, probably even make double digits here, in all honesty, if Georgia are switched on defensively. So, you know, 56 isn't a particularly high total by any stretch. But if I don't think Tennessee can score here, um, you know, getting into double figures, combined with the fact that Georgia broke 40 points just once in their last five starts, uh, I've got to look towards taking the under here on Saturday between the Bulldogs and Volunteers. Uh, so, yeah, under 56 for me. Yeah, I see where you're going with that, Kevin. And Brian, coming to you next, you know, Tennessee's offense is kind of a tricky handicap, in my opinion, because when you look at the defenses they have faced, like against uh, Kentucky or against Missouri going north of 600 yards of total offense, this is a whole different animal going up against the Georgia Bulldogs offense. You know, likely all of their linebackers and defensive linemen are going to be on an NFL roster in the future. So, uh, going past performance, you, you, you kind of can't compare what they've done against other teams to how they're going to do on Saturday. That makes it difficult, and that's why I kind of lean here with, with Kevin because I'm not so sure Tennessee is going to be able to get it going offensively, Brian. What are you thinking? I think it all comes down to the lines. Uh, that's the way the SEC has been for years. Whoever has the best line play wins the games, and to me, it's not even close here from a line play. Uh, here's a number for you. 32 to 5. That's how many sacks these teams have given up on the season. Tennessee, 32 sacks, including five last week at Kentucky. Uh, Georgia's only allowed five sacks all season long. Uh, when you take a look at this Georgia team, they have won the sack battle every single game. Not just tied, they have won the sack battle. So they're going to get into the Tennessee backfield, make it real tough on this Tennessee passing game. And you take a look at Tennessee, other than when they played Tennessee Tech, they had three more sacks in that game. They have not had more sacks than the opposition in any game this season. So the front, the, the lines are going to tell who's going to win this game, and Georgia's got a huge advantage in that regard. And Kevin talked about that game last week against Kentucky. The strangest box score you will ever see. They win that game 45-42. to 42. Yards per play, they had 9.8 to 6.2, yet they were minus 18 in first downs and outgained by 152. Uh, it was one of those games that was really strange because there was no turnover advantage either way in it. Normally you see something weird like that when uh, a team doesn't have the ball very often because they keep turning the ball over. But the last two games for Tennessee, yardage-wise, they lose to Alabama by 228, lose to Kentucky by 151, First downs, two straight weeks combined, down 41 first downs. And they won one of those games. So this is a Tennessee team right now playing the best offense and the best, or excuse me, the third best offense when you take a look at uh, yards per play 
and the number one offense in college football by a long shot here with Georgia. I think it's Georgia. And as for taking Tennessee for granted, keep in mind, they got Georgia Southern next week. So they finished the year with Georgia Tech in that big battle of Georgia. It's big for Georgia Tech. But uh, Georgia and Tennessee here, I think you're going to, get to see the full Georgia situation right now. Um, they have not had a letdown all season long. The most points they've allowed in any game is 13. And they've done it against South Carolina, Kentucky, two of probably the lesser teams that they played. In fact, South Carolina definitely is. But uh, the Georgia offense is picking it up. They're, they've scored other than the opener against Clemson, which we all know about the Clemson defense. 56, 40, 62, 37, 34, 30, 34, 43. Georgia will get at least 40 in this game. Can Tennessee get that other 17 or whatever to put this one over? I don't know, but I like the Georgia side. Like in the Georgia Bulldogs in Knoxville on Saturday. Guys, enjoy the game. Also remember to check out wagertalk.com. Tuesday is a great day to do so. It's $2 Tuesday, the top handicappers, top play, discounted to just $2. That's Tuesdays at wagertalk.com.